6th of April. A very, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and being with us this morning. Well, the ANC's entire NEC will today visit the late struggle icon Winnie Madikizela Mandela's home in Orlando West, Soweto, to pay their respects. Madikizela Mandela passed away on Monday at the Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg. She was 81. The ANC yesterday announced details of activities during a 10-day program of mourning to honor the life of the struggle icon. Her funeral service will be held on the 14th of April at the Orlando Stadium in Soweto. ANC has requested government and the family that uh, we should have a special ANC event, a memorial service on Tuesday, the 10th, because Comrade Chris Hani and Comrade Winnie Mandela Mandela were very close. So we'll have it in Bizana, where Comrade uh, Winnie Mandela Mandela comes from. On the 14th uh, is the national official funeral. We already have uh, the head of the African Union here in the country. Uh, a number of uh, uh, foreign missions have uh, sent and conveyed their messages. Some have already visited uh, the, 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 the house. So, the, I mean, Winnie Mandela's home in Orlando is already inundated mm -hmm. with quite a number of uh, visitors, both uh, here at home and abroad. We now look at the picture of Winnie Madikizela Mandela outside her struggle credentials. Those close to her have described her as a brilliant, generous and kind mother. From the humble beginnings of Bizana in the Eastern Cape to a global icon, people hear a new Mama Winnie as a politician and mother. Her connections to Kunu was through her marriage to the late statesman Nelson Mandela. The Madiba clan says she was true to the character of a decent wife. She mourned her former husband, though they were no longer married. The people of Kunu acknowledged the respect she displayed for her wedding vows. The Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa Contralesa also remembered Madikizela Mandela as a true leader who also fought for the recognition of traditional leaders. They were aware that uh, there was a time where Mama Wini was isolated. And by people who are now singing her praises. Um, but we know what used to happen because she was part of us uh, um, then, even in Parliament. Her friend and comrade Dr. Brigalia Bam recalled her fond memories of her young Nomza Mamadikizela Mandela. She befriended her in the 50s at Jan Hof Meyer School of Social Work in Johannesburg. Winnie uh, opened so many doors for women and for social workers. We didn't know much about social workers because no social workers were roaming around the hospitals at the time. Madigi Salamandra's contributions in the liberation struggle has been documented by various filmmakers. Renowned film producer Anand Singh reflected on his personal encounters with the late Mama Winnie. Singh spent a lot of time with her when producing the film titled Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom in 2013. It was a long journey, but she was always very supportive. Um, but at the same time, slightly apprehensive because you know, as a filmmaker, Madiba said to me, show me for my weaknesses and my strengths. And I said to her the same thing, that, you know, all of us have weaknesses and strengths. However, one of the darkest moments in Mama Winnie's marriage must surely have been her divorce to former president. It was a very difficult time uh, for Winnie. It is inevitable when one's friends uh, become divorced that... Uh, the relationship with between one of them and you <laughs> uh, changes. Muntlingani Dipoku, SBC News.